Hello, I'm George Miller from the Buffalo Bill Center of the West in Cody, Wyoming. And today we're talking about the Bighorn Basin and the Northern Bighorn Mountains in particular. Well, the Bighorn Mountains are part of the Laramide Orogeny, and we've talked about that before, the mountain building phase of the Rocky Mountains. And how that worked was the Farallon Plate was subducted under the North American Plate at a very low angle and caused folding. So we have basins folded down and the mountains folded up. There are lots of amazing things in geology. Here's a fault where rocks are actually bent. Did you know you could bend rocks? Now look at those bended rocks there. This is called a monocline. And a monocline is a sort of step down where you've got flat sediments and then suddenly it steps down into a fold. So folded rocks in the uh, Shell Creek monocline. Lots of different formations we're looking at today. So the Laramide originally lifts things up and what goes up must come down. Here's a huge Horseshoe Mountain landslide. So older Madison limestone slid onto this shale that's very slippery, and off it went down the hill. Look at all the material that was carried away by this landslide. Pretty amazing. Look at the volume. Well, this is the fallen city. It's called that because it looks like a fallen city. Uh, the Madison limestone has broken into chunks and slid down the hill. And here we have bighorn dolomite that has calved off and big, huge building-sized chunks. Well, here's our beautiful culprit, water. So water in the form of ice and liquid. Look at this. These ancient, ancient rocks carved by Shell Creek. And here we are at Shell Creek falls where the water is sculpting and eroding through this ancient granite. Some of this granite is 2.5 billion years old. Hard to imagine. That's what I like about geology is the time frames are so immense. Well, here's another example of water doing its work. That Shell Creek uh, undercut a bunch of sedimentary rock and cause this whole mountainside to slump. And you can see how it slumped down toward the creek, and the creek continues to erode even today. Well, mountains in their uplift create different kinds of habitats for flora and fauna for animals and plants. And we can look into this little um, meadow here, and it is created by the geology because it's higher, it gets more water, more precipitation, more different kinds of plants can grow up here, and animals can thrive high in the mountains. Well, imagine my surprise when I saw three moose early in the morning in a field of wildflowers. Gorgeous animals and dependent, to some extent, on the geology of the area. Small plant communities can be sheltered by rock as well. Here's my favorite wildflower, the wild rose growing into that crack in the rock. And the wildflowers are really beautiful in the springtime here in the Bighorns. Well, plant communities have nestled into this rock here, and we know that that lichen is breaking down the rock through the excretion of oxalic acid, and those rocks are actually providing nutrients for the plant community there. Well, I'm going to leave you with Shell Falls gradually eroding that 2.5 billion year old granite.
If you're enjoying our series, please like and subscribe to Buffalo Bill Center of the West YouTube page. Thank you. See you next week.